And hello again, and uh, another, I don't know what you call it, shoot off I guess, or just um, really looking at performance metrics. On the left I've got the latest Apple M2 um, Air, is it called Air? I think so. And on the right I've got, uh, it's a little bit older, it's a Surface Laptop 4, which I think is around two years old. Um, now the specs on these two are different, but I thought it would be an interesting comparison. Um, the MacBook Air is got as it's a basic specification, eight gigs of RAM and uh, two fifty six SSD, which I think has been uh, people have been quite critical of that configuration. Um, but it's a very powerful um, CPU. And on the right uh, is an i seven. I think it's eleventh gen, so two generations old, uh, but thirty two gigs of RAM. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how these two do. Now, as before, I'm using the FL Studio CPU weighting, and because it's quite small, um, it's actually up here. If you can see uh, here, it's probably easier to see. Uh, because it's quite small, what I'll do is I'll read them out, and I'll read out the uh, MacBook Air first, followed by the Surface Laptop 4, um, as I did before. So in theory, we should also be able to compare these with um, the other laptops um, that we're using uh, FL Studio. But, you know, as I said before, this isn't a particularly scientific method. But if you're going to be using it for, if you're going to be using a laptop for um, FL Studio use, this is probably the most important metric. Um, I've got no doubt that if you used general performance metrics, on these two laptops you get different results but the ones we probably care about are how fast would it run how well does it cope running my FL Studio project I've used the same demo song which is uh, nine loops keep it simple and without further ado let's get stuck in so it's quite a gentle startup and both neck and neck on 15 16 17 uh, 18, both the same now. Um, yep, still the same. 17, 18. Uh, MacBook's gone up to 20 and it's shot down to 16. Same with the Surface Laptop 4. So pretty much parity at the moment. Um, not a lot uh, of work having to be done on the CPU. Um, I think probably about... 30, 45 seconds into this, it picks up a bit. You can see it coming in there on the Surface Laptop 4. And if you closely followed on the other side, you'll see what's going on um, on the um, screen there. So here we go, Let's see what difference this makes. So both on 21 at the moment, before we go into this new section. And you can hear it's starting to ramp up just a little bit. And in a minute it does go full, full Monty. So 15, 15, 27, 24, 27, 24, 26, 26, 27, 21, 30, and 51, that's interesting, that CPU usage shot up on the Surface Laptop 4. 31 against 56 again on the Surface Laptop 4. So at the moment the MacBook having to work less hard CPU-wise. Um, 30 on the MacBook Air. 52 on the Surface Laptop 4. So let's just bring that back. Again, at the moment, the MacBook having to work significantly less hard um, than the Surface Laptop 4. It would be interesting to, to do this against the Surface Laptop 5, but I don't have one of those. Um, but by the way, it's still an interesting metric to look at. Um, where are we now? We're looking at 27 on the MacBook Air against 54 on the Surface Laptop 4. Now we have to bear in mind that there is a lot of caching going on on both systems, cache things in a, a different way. But that's not the point. Um, we're putting our faith in the people at Image Line 
with their metric for CPU load, um, which is really interesting. So we're 28 against 52. So the surface laptop 4 is still looking like it's working harder. And that's what it's telling us. Um, 26 versus 52. Twenty-seven against forty-eight. Twenty-seven against forty-six. So I think we've got a pattern after initially starting off with very comparable results. As we've got more going on uh, within the song, the uh, MacBook Air is coping better than the Surface Laptop Four. Uh, at least that's what the metrics are telling us from Image Line on uh, FL Studio. So interesting. Um, we probably don't need to go too much further, but I'd quite like to go into this quieter section again and see if things settle down. At the moment we're looking at 32 against 61. Thirty-one against forty-six. Let's bring that back. I think we can probably call it a day there. And I think as far as um, the performance metric goes, the uh, the new uh, MacBook Air with the M2 chip is definitely outperforming the um, admittedly quite old now Surface Laptop 4. It's a couple of generations old on the uh, Intel 11th gen. I think we're up to 13th gen now for the Intel processors. But nevertheless, um, interesting stuff. I hope that's been useful to you. Um, I will try and do some more metrics like this. Um, I find them handy myself when I'm considering um, what to use myself. And obviously this is pointing towards a new M2 processor from Apple being quite a good one as far as music composition within FL Studio is concerned. Um, your mileage may vary with other doors and certainly with other applications. Um, having said that, I do like Windows because I like the touch screens. Um, so, uh, you know, that's uh, another factor to, to bear in mind. But um, you pay some money and you take your choice and it's whatever floats your boat. As far as the UI is concerned for FL Studio, it's pretty much exactly the same. Anyway, that's enough of chatter for now. Thank you very much for your time. Hope that's been of some benefit.